Morning. Did you know there is a difference between lavender oil and lavender essential oil? Lavender oil is often a perfume that doesn't even come from lavender, and therefore it doesn't have any of its benefits. So make sure you're getting lavender essential oil if you want any of the wonderful benefits we're talking about today. Okay, now that we've got that clear. And now, the benefits of lavender essential oil. Why am I starting with the side effects? I usually always finish with those. Because there's an important thing that needs to be said right away. One thing you should not do is ingest lavender essential oil orally, as it can be toxic in this format. Yes, you can have lavender essential oil internally, but only if it's in a proper capsule format. Otherwise, it's only meant for aromatherapy or topical use. Lavender essential oil is considered generally safe for most adults though it may cause skin irritation or an allergic reaction in some individuals. If you experience nausea, vomiting, or a headache after using lavender oil, then sorry, but lavender oil just isn't for you. Now let's get this benefit party rolling! Lavender essential oil has a long history of use. Henrietta Maria, wife of King Charles I, who is credited with bringing cosmetics to the English court, used lavender in perfumed soaps, potpourris, and water for washing and bathing. In the 12th century, Hildegard of Bingen noted that oil of lavender was effective in the treatment of head lice and fleas, which has now been backed by research too. Herbalist Nicholas Culpepper said that lavender oil is of so fierce and piercing a quality that it is cautiously to be used, some few drops being sufficient. Keepers, mister, you're really strong. It's time to take a step back, take a little break, and take in a nice deep breath of lavender. In one study, researchers found that lavender oil had an almost identical result when compared to the anxiety-reducing medication lorazepam. A 2017 study found lavender aromatherapy even calmed anxiety levels in preoperative patients. There was even a large study showing how it helped improve anxiety and the mood of people waiting for the dentist. There are also several studies showing how it can help relieve stress, postpartum depression, and it helps improve overall relaxation. While it might not be as potent as some of the other herbs in the mint family, lavender has been shown to help with a variety of digestive issues. A study in the Journal of Ethnopharmacology Hmm, say that five times fast. Found that lavender essential oil can help relax the muscles in the intestines, helping to relieve cramping, indigestion, and other digestive issues. There has also been research showing how it can help quell nausea and motion sickness. Now some people do say that more research needs to be done in this area, but from what I've seen, the results are really promising so far. One study looking at 47 patients who suffered from regular migraines found that those using lavender essential oil reported significantly less severity in their migraine attacks for the following two hours. Well, if it helps with headaches, can't it help with other pain too? Well, yes. Yes, it can. But how effective can it really be? I mean, come on. Well, in ancient times, they used to give it to women who were in pain from labor, and that's a lot of pain. And nowadays, a 2015 study found that capsules containing lavender essential oil provided pain relief comparable to that of the prescription medication Tramadol. Another study showed that lavender essential oil can reduce the amount of pain-killing medicine needed after a tonsillectomy. Now there has been some aromatherapy research done regarding lavender essential oil's effectiveness against various respiratory problems including coughs, colds, and flu. But not too much research yet. Mostly we have accounts from medical professionals, herbalists, and other personal accounts on this one. However, due to its anti-inflammatory qualities and ability to help relax your stressed pathways, it is widely believed to help make breathing easier, help protect against airborne viruses, and loosen phlegm. Oh yeah, that's nice. Thanks again, Lavender. A study published in the Journal of Medical Microbiology found lavender essential oil to be effective in combating antifungal resistant infections. It was also shown to have antifungal activity, effective against a wide spectrum of fungal strains that can cause skin disease. 
This is actually one of the oldest documented uses of lavender, as Roman armies would carry lavender with them as a wound healer and antiseptic. It was even used until World War II for the same reasons. So we have a long history of information to back this one up. And there's plenty of modern research to back this one up too. One study compared the effects of TENS, transcutaneous electrical nerve stimulation, saline solution, povidone iodine, and lavender essential oil. The study authors noted that the wounds closed faster in the TENS and lavender essential oil groups than the other control groups. Even though cramping and PMS are unfortunately common, no single treatment is universally recognized as effective. And while there is research that says lavender essential oil can help with both, the effects are going to be relative to your own personal body chemistry. One aromatherapy study on young women concluded that lavender did help alleviate premenstrual symptoms for the two months they tried using it. Other research suggests that massage with lavender essential oil also helps with menstrual cramping. But unfortunately, there are some studies that say the effects were limited or not even effective for certain women. King Charles VI of France had his seat cushions and pillows stuffed with lavender so he could be cozy and sleep soundly every night. Several studies show that lavender essential oil may help fight insomnia and help promote sleep. And research has been done from little kids all the way up to the elderly. A 2018 study found that lavender aromatherapy helped improve sleep onset, quality, and duration in an elderly population. Want super sexy skin? The anti-inflammatory and antibacterial abilities of lavender essential oil also make it excellent for the fight against acne. Plus, various skin conditions like psoriasis, shingles, and eczema. It even helps with skin wounds and blemishes. While there isn't much research available, there are some who say that it can also help with chapped lips. Lavender is possibly effective for hair loss, but... There haven't been any human trials done on this yet. Yet? Oh, come on, people! Let's save some hair! There is one study from 1998 that shows lavender can promote hair growth by up to 44% after seven months of treatment. A more recent study on mice found that applying lavender essential oil helped to promote hair growth over the course of four weeks. So let's hope we're all just a little bit like the mice in this category. Not me, of course. I don't need to regrow my hair at all. What? Have you tried lavender essential oil before? Let me know in the comments section down below how it's worked for you. If you want to learn more amazing things about lavender, then you should be watching the history of lavender next, or the benefits of lavender tea next. Y'all take care of each other, please be kind, and if you're getting stressed out and anxious at all, break out the lavender essential oil and ride that relaxing wave back to peace and happiness.